Hey guys, it's Sarah here from Guardian County Corsos, and wow. Um, I'm glad I was able to film the last video for you guys because you can see firsthand just how much energy a male Corso, or any dog for that matter, has when they are driven by that female heat smell. And you know, in in that video that I filmed, I said Logan definitely has to stay away for two more days at least. But the next morning when I woke up after keeping him separated, he was so worked up in a tizzy that he had projectile number twos everywhere in the basement. He had gotten out of his uh, area and it was all over the gym and yeah, I'm not going to show you guys here on YouTube if you want to see how much a Corso can hold. I always ask that question before I got one because I'm like, okay, I know I've picked up regular dog stuff, but how much does a Corso have? And it's a lot. So if you want, check out my Instagram page, um, which I'll put up right now on the screen. And you can see uh, the damage. It was not a fun. <laughs> Uh, morning and a thank you one of you guys you know who you are for the shout out of dumb and dumber of the scene where there was poop everywhere in the washroom definitely uh, what happened that day so after um, that mess I was like oh my gosh I don't think I can handle another day of this I'm supposed to be on vacation let me see how I can get these dogs to get together so I decided, okay, uh, honey, I need you to watch the baby for a couple hours. I'm going to put in the work and get these dogs together, <laughs> calm down, and hope, you know, that, that they can live amongst each other with no humping and calm and just happy dogs. So that's what today's video is on, day two of reintroducing Logan to the females after both of their heats. So let's get into it. And so we're gonna go right outside to that morning where I was basically working the dogs, not even sure of what I'm gonna do, um, but basically, you know, just strategically talking out loud of, of what I can do. So in this video, you guys will get to see what I do in my head out loud um, because I'm getting some really nice compliments. So you guys are seeing a huge difference in the way the pack is going. And that is because I'm, I'm thinking a lot more clearly about things, trying to anticipate things. Uh, I probably still overanalyze it in too much in my head, but you know, um, Definitely let me know what you guys think of this video um, and basically how I may or may not be able to get the dogs together um, when day one was such an intense uh, meetup between uh, Logan and the girls. So let's check it out. All right, so... <clears throat> Logan is very interested in Phoenix. He doesn't seem to be interested in Chevy at all, which is awesome. Maybe he knows that's his daughter. But she was in heat later, so you'd think her smell would be more. But I'm getting pretty confident that um, Phoenix will not. Uh, mate with him because she's been sitting. So I'm going to leave the leash on and we've been doing a lot of work this morning to tell him no, but I know the hormones are crazy. So we're going to try and just stalk Phoenix a little bit and then I'll probably drop the leash. And um, Phoenix is very intense. She is definitely uh, one of my most intense, if not the most intense dogs. Um, she will give a very strong correction. And uh, Phoenix, sweetie. Phoenix, come, sweetie. Come say hi. See, and she's, she's not even interested. 
And Logan's like, but my love, we need to make babies. No. Phoenix. The problem is Logan is faster than I am. So I really have to trust that Phoenix will correct him and be okay with him technically getting a nip. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. And Chevy's here, she's a good girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And her butt is right in his face and he doesn't even care. That's my biggest issue. It's really these two. But you know, it's day t twenty three or twenty. It's it's day twenty five uh -uh, for Phoenix. So we shouldn't be in a danger zone. So that's why I'm doing this. You never want to leave it up to your dogs. But I know even if he does try and mount her, she's 90% chance gonna say no. Hey, sweetie. And uh, come say hi to your Logan. Ah 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 Logan. But then the other part of me knows, okay, this is going to provide a lot of energy. So I need to get rid of Chevy because that will escalate things. Good girl, sweetheart. So yes, I am going to let the dogs work it out because there's pretty much zero risk of pregnancy. And Logan is not doing well. Chevy, come on, go home, love. Good girl. Logan, come. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Logan. All right. So now we got. One away to help the energy. Hi, sweetie. And I'm not going to correct her because she's doing the good thing. Ooh, got a stinging fly. Good. Oh, yeah. All right, bud, let's take a walk. So she is letting me know that she will bust him a new one. But see, a male's hormone doesn't care. He's like, I don't care, I'm gonna do my job. So, I'm trying to get rid of the mosquitoes here. Yeah, you could see uh, on his back by his bum there is where Logan got stung too by a black wasp. We tried to kill them all because they really hurt. But see, I'm trying to get rid of the nervousness because we're having stress poo everywhere. And so Phoenix and Logan have fought before. They actually fought a lot more um, before Chevy came. And she will nip him, but she's not one to uh, kill him. But she makes a strong point. So, you know, that's where I got to, ah, 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 no pulling, where I got to decide, you know, what am I going to allow? What am I not going to allow? Oh, gosh, you guys are all stressed out with the runs. Don't step in it. Oh. 
So it's kind of like, do I let them work it out so that they can get back to not being as stressed, you know? Or do I just leave them a few more days? Say hi. Hmm? And now he seems to be leaving her alone. So this is a very good sign. And it's very hot out, so I really need to get them, you know, uh, inside again. But I think he's done. Okay, Logan, sit. And I'm going to actually leave the leash on, even though that's another risk, because this could get caught and he has a choke chain. All right, bud, free. Free, go, go on. Go on. So this is really good. He's loose, he's staying with me, and he is not charging like a bull at Phoenix. Good. And she's like, he ain't getting nothing. I'm staying seated, minding my own business. <laughs> so this is what I want to see. And she's feeling comfortable now because she's laying down. I don't know how big breeders do it, but I think they're with their dogs and it's their full-time job. Unfortunately, I can't be with my dogs 24-7. Because I do know many people that can set the right tone where their males won't even try it. Um, which is good. But, yeah, I'm doing this because uh, they're so stressed. All right, so let's continue this inside. That'll be interesting because there's three of them, but they're way too hot and I do not want any of my dogs to get overheated. So we're inside now. <laughs> Hi, Miss Chevy. You blend in. You all right, Phoenix? Yeah? Your husband's bothering you? got the sniff he needed to say okay it's not puppy time but you need to calm down bud you're stressing yourself out okay. And I know many of you guys may not know if you have uh, female dogs in the neighborhood, you know, that have gone into heat and they can smell it miles away. So if you have a dog that's not eating or drinking, panting, you know, seems restless, um, the heats last for almost a month. So, this is what it looks like when a male has to restrain himself and is very excited.
poor Sole. Ugh. So I have to get to the point where I'm confident that he is not going to bother them when I'm not here. Yes, buddy. I love these two. <laughs> They're so lovey-dovey in their heat. <laughs> Phoenix, you look like you're gonna kill someone. You okay? Girls, perfectly fine. It's not a temperature issue, you know. But this guy looks like freaking left him in the desert. And that's because he's so excited. You need to lay on the cool floor? Okay. I don't know how happy he is from letting him back in here, but it is what it is. <laughs> Phoenix, how you feeling, bud? Huh? Are you upset with me, mama? Hmm? Are you? Got the look, lovey. He gave him one look and he's like, whoa, back off, mission aborted. Mission aborted. Yeah. That's another thing you have to get used to with Corsos is they drink so loud. Whenever I'm on a meeting for work, they're like, what the heck is that noise? I'm like, oh, my dog is taking a drink of water in the other room. Yeah. Ah, 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 Chevy. It's Phoenix. All right. Well, we're going to uh, sneak away and watch them from the camera and see what's going on. And I'm going to see what he's going to do when I'm not around. All right, bud. Should I trust you? Hmm? Huh, big head? Yeah. What? No. All right, sit, bud. All right. Well, just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wanted to show you guys kind of what it's like dealing with a pack of three and an intact male that cannot uh, be bred. Um, hopefully, we will be able to get him a vasectomy at some point, so I don't have to worry about this. You know, but when the dogs do coitus or whatever you want to call it, it is still pretty intense. Uh, and it can be dangerous too. So just the whole thing is uh, challenging um, to know what to do. As always, we appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, supporting our channel. If you haven't already done so, please give us a thumbs up, hit that uh, subscriber um, notification and bell if you're not already subscribed to our channel we have a lot of really good content if you're interested in learning more about owning connie corsos breeding connie corsos or just anything general in in dogs we are a channel that shares everything there is no subject off limits the next big video that's coming your way is a look fully inside into our youtube channel how much money we're making what does our analytics look like? Because I want you guys to see <laughs> just how uh, much work goes into this for us for very little uh, in return. But I'm excited to share with you guys because I know there are a couple of you out there who have been thinking of making your own YouTube channel. So I just want to show you that you really need some passion to do so in our next video. So.
check out that if you're interested turn the notifications on and definitely always appreciate your comments even if it's just a simple heart or a thumbs up so that we know that you guys are watching and it really helps us in the algorithm as well so thank you guys as always for supporting Kane Corso Chronicles run by us here at Guardian Kane Corsos Hope you guys are staying safe and can't wait to bring another video your way. Cheers!